Guys, today's show is going to be juicy good. I am on my five skewer rotisserie from Life Range. I've got some picanha. I am going to load it up. It is going to be a Brazilian type barbecue with a homemade cowboy sauce. So look, to get this show started, we're going to open up that picanha and get it all dried off. Now look, the rule of thumb here, it's going to be three fingers per slice. And we are hoping to get three slices out of it. Once you get that all sliced up, I am going to remove a little bit of the fat. And also very important here is the salt to use. I am going to salt the inside before the bed. And I've got some nice finishing salt mixed in with a little bit of kosher salt. That is going to give me a good melt. Once we salt out those insides, we will get it on the skewer. And now look, little tip here, get yourself your... Uh, Get yourself a little paring knife or any type of knife, and you can start right through that fat. Once you get your starting point, you are going to carefully push your skewer through. Once you get that first one on, you are going to keep that same direction and push your other two on. And from there, what you want to do is get that salt because you want to salt up all sides. Once you get all sides salted up, put that on the side, and let's get on over to our Life Range 5 skewer rotisserie and get that fired up. Guys, so lighting this unit here couldn't be more simple. It is a propane hookup here on the back and also electric here going on the side. That is going to uh, that is going to rotate your skewers. Basically, you've got these two dials. You are going to turn them on to low, press them both in. That is going to light the uh, flames on both of your burners. And also, you've got a handy on-off temperature gauge with a uh, timer over here. And your heat up on this unit from when you first light it up is only about four or five minutes and you are ready to go. So once you've reached that target temp, it is time to get your proteins in. Once those proteins are in, shut the door and let's turn our attention to that cowboy butter sauce. So guys, if you've never tried a cowboy butter sauce, you are definitely in for a treat. And this one is going to start out with one stick of salted butter. You're going to get five garlic cloves. You're going to chop them and smush them and get that in there. We are talking fresh thyme, fresh parsley, and also fresh chives. You are going to get them chopped up and get that in there. I will have exact measurements down in the description under show notes. At that point, get yourself some Dijon mustard. How about some paprika and red pepper flakes? And also, you are going to get the zest of a quarter lemon plus the juice of a quarter lemon. Get all that in there. Taste it. Hit it with some S&P as needed. Bring it up to a low simmer and get it in the house to rest. After just 20 minutes, I can tell you we've got some great color here and also some great smells in the shack. A quick temperature check tells us we are about 110 on the meat and we will get it off. And I mean, look at it, it dripping, man. I mean, this is... Uh, this is turning out to be good. We will get it on the board, and I am going to do some nice, thin slices. Oh, I mean, we are perfect at that rare. And I'll tell you, man, I am pretty shocked that it is slicing nice and easy. I mean, I've seen this on TV, and it is working out exactly the same. We will shave off some nice, thin slices. We will continue to shave off some slices for a unofficial taste test. And we will also get the... Uh, uh, let's get it salted back up. We will get it back on the rotisserie so we can continue to cook it. And I am telling you, man, this looks absolutely incredible. Alrighty, so look, this is not the uh, this is not the official taste test. This is the unofficial taste test. We got some nice rare slices. I've got it back in the uh, back in the rotisserie. Give it a little bit more heat. And the one thing I have read up on this is you can slice them off rare like that, hit them with a little bit more salt and then put them back in, cook it some more, slice it off, more salt back in, you know the deal. Oh, I had to get this, this is way too, uh, way too rare for the wife here. This is almost raw rare. That is perfect for me, I must say. And cheers, not the official taste test. Wow, that is friggin' amazing. Guys, you, you, you've, you've read about this cowboy, uh, this butter sauce right here definitely uh, adds another level of flavor to this. You put this on bread, man, you got a little bit of fat in here. Wow, oh man. Oh. 
Guys, we will let this go for about another 10, 15 minutes or so. See if we can get it up more into that rare to medium rare. Then I'll bring you guys back. We'll take it off, slice it up, and do that official taste test. So I got to say, man, that was a... Uh, that was a super fun cook, super simple to do, and I, I can tell you already, man, that the flavor of these things are going to be uh, just off the charts. So I love the fact that you can, uh, you know, that you can get off some slices. So you can cook this nice and rare, get a couple slices off for your guests, get some more salt on it, and get it back in for about five, ten minutes, and repeat the process. I mean, as you could see, these end pieces are more to the well done, but as you get in, you're hitting that rare, and that is, that, that is definitely super cool, especially since my wife likes more of a well done, so she can get all the end, and I can get all the, uh, all the center, and that is the uh, best of both worlds. Of course, we are in the winter here in Jersey, and my uh, my butter sauce has uh, seen better days. Cheers, guys. What could I say, man? That is so friggin' good. So this unit is by Life Range. I will have all the information down in the description if you wanna check this out. It is nice and light. You've got this top so you can keep things, uh, put some vegetables up there or whatever, keep things kind of warm. Um, you've got a lot of skewers that come with it. Uh, it is, like I said, it is light. Um, I don't really have too many complaints with this thing. This is a, a fun cook, a fun cooking machine. It is easy to keep clean. I have used it off camera a couple times. Plus, uh, this is my second cook on camera here. And this right here is easily a 10. So guys, that is it, man. I am gonna close out of this one. This will be my last video for Christmas, before Christmas, I should say. So I definitely want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and certainly a Happy New Year. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me throughout the years. This has been a fun ride for me and I am still having fun doing it. Again, my name is Tommy. I appreciate you all. Merry Christmas. And until next time, we will see you soon.